Hi guys, welcome back to Wildlock Dirt Gig Worst Sheet Lesson Number Four. And to start off, we're gonna be rounding to the nearest hundreds for one to four, and rounding to the nearest ten for five to eight. So looking at number one, here we have four hundred seventy plus two ten. And first off, we know that one to four means we round down, and the five to nine means we round up. So looking at number one, we're gonna be leaving the tenths place by the way. So four seventy, looking at seven, we know that it rounds up. So one more than four is five hundred. And for two ten, we know that one means we round down, which becomes two hundred. And once we add these two together, we get seven hundred as our answer for number one. Moving down to number three, we're still gonna be adding to the nearest hundred, but this time technically it's the nearest dollar. So, but same thing applies, we're looking at number 2, or the tens place, so we know that 2 rounds down, so we get $5 for the first one, and then for number um, 398, we'll get the 9, and 9 means we round up, so 398 becomes $4, and we just add these together, and we get $9 for our answer for number 3. Moving over to this side, number 5, this time we're running to the nearest 10 to solve, to estimate the sum. So, same thing applies here, but this time we're looking at the 1's place. And since we have 4, 9, 47, 7 means we round up. So this 4 becomes a 5. So we get 950, and 180, 0 is already where it is supposed to be at. So we just keep it 180, and we add these two together, we get a 0. 5 plus 8 equals 13, so we put a 3, bring the 1 over, 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 1 equals 11. So our answer for number 5 is 1130. Looking over at number 7, we're doing the same thing, this is rounding to the nearest 10. So we can ignore these first numbers, look at this 8, and since we know that 8 rounds up, this number becomes 1580. And looking down over here, we know that 4 rounds down. So we get 360. And to get our answer, we're just going to add these two together. 0 plus 0 is 0. 8 plus 6 is 14. Bring the 4 down and carry the 1 over. 5 plus 3 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. And bring the 1 down right here. And we get 1940. For this next page, we're going to be comparing by using the symbols greater than, less than, or equal to. And basically, the easiest way to compare numbers is by going down by their values. So looking at these two big numbers right here, we have 345,793 and 506,294. And the easiest way we can do this is look at their hundred thousands place. So we see we have a 3 and a 5, and we know that 3 is less than 5. So that tells us that for number 1, our answer is less than. Looking over here, number 2, we have 206. 791, 206, 792. And to compare the numbers, we just go down. So we know that 2 and 2 are the same. 0, 0, 6, 6, 7, 7, 9, 9. And then for our 1's place, we have a 1 and a 2. And then we know that 1 is less than 2. So that tells us that our answer is less than. Moving down to number 5. Here we just see that we have a, a 2 in the 100,000th place and a 9 right here. And that also tells us that this number is less than. And lastly for this page, here we have 456, 249, and 400, 1026. And comparing our first two numbers, we have a 4 and a 4, so we move on to the next place. And we have a 5 and a 0. And we know that 5 is greater than 0, so we're just going to put greater than. For our next page, we have find the next number in each pattern. And so looking at our example number one, we have 45, 55, 65, 75, blank. And we're trying to find the next number in the pattern. So we have to find the common difference between each of these other numbers. So 45 to 55, we see that you add 10 to get to 55. 55 to 65 is also plus 10. And 65 to 75 is also plus 10. And that tells us that our pattern is plus 10. And to get our answer, we're just going to do 75 plus 10 and we get 85 for our next number in the pattern for number one. Looking at number two, we have 340, 320, 300, and 280. And we're just finding the common difference again. And here we see that to get to 
340 to 320, we're going to have to subtract 20. And same thing goes for 320 to 300. And same thing goes for 300 to 280. So we know that our pattern is minus 20 for number 2. And to get our answer again, we're just going to do 280 minus 20. And we know that 0 minus 0 is 0. 8 minus 2 is 6. And we just bring down the 2. And so our answer for number 2 is 260. One more example from this page. Let's do number let's just do number six. So looking at number six, we have five one fifty four, one sixty, one sixty six, and one seventy two. And we're just gonna find the common difference again from these numbers. So to get from one fifty four to one sixty, we're gonna have to add six. One sixty one sixty to one sixty six is also add six. And 166 to 172 is also plus 6. So since we know that our pattern is plus 6, we're just going to add 6 to 172. And 2 plus 6 is 8. Bring down the 7, bring down the 1. And our answer is 178 for number 6. Moving on to our word problems. For number 1, we have there are 423 pages in a book that Aaron is reading right now. He read until page 115. How many more pages does he need to read in order to finish the book? So let's write down what we know. We know that there are 423 total pages in the book. And as of right now, he's read up to page 115. And since we're trying to find out how many more pages does he have to read to finish the book, we can do subtraction. So we know that 3 minus 5 is impossible, so we're going to have to borrow 1 from this 2 which turns it into a 1, and then this 3 becomes 13. So 13 minus 5 equals 8, 1 minus 1 equals 0, and then 4 minus 1 equals 3. So we know that he has to read 308 more pages to finish his book. For number 2, River lives in a city of a population of 56,193, Eva lives in a city of a population of 56,126, which city has more people? And basically, since we know that the populations of both cities, we're just comparing them. So writing them out, we know that River has a city of 56,193, and Eva lives in a city of 56,126, and we're just comparing them. So let's go down from the first place. We have 5 and 5, 6 and 6, 1 and 1, and 9 and 2. And we know that 9 is greater than 2, so we know that River is in a city with more people. And for our last one, we have Mike and O'Keefe paddled from Big Bear to Yosemite to Las Vegas, which can be represented by the equation 1,427 plus 3,407. Estimate the number of yards they paddled in all by writing to the nearest thousands. So, let's put these two numbers down first. 1,400. 27 and 3407 and since we're around to nearest thousands we're looking at the hundreds place this time so we know that four and four both round down so this first number becomes ten thousand and this number here becomes three thousand we can add these two together and we get zero 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 three and one and our answer is they estimated around thirteen thousand yards